Mabuhay! This is Captain Lusari speaking. We are now on our final approach towards the end of our journey for 2022. Please fasten your seatbelt and avoid using the lavatory as we unveil the accomplishments of PSA Gimaras for the current year. Malugod kong pinasasalamatan ang inyong pagbigay atensyon. To my staff, thank you for flying with me for several years. As a result, we garnered second best in information dissemination for two consecutive years and rank 7 in statistical planning and coordination. In a nutshell, we have improved our ranking by 12 notches. I deeply appreciate your hard work, commitment, and dedication in achieving our targets, despite the hardships and trials in the implementation of the projects and various survey operations. Focal persons, you will now unveil your accomplishments. We have household surveys, census, and sampling frames and establishment survey and administrative data. For the year 2022, we have successfully conducted monthly fly and corn situation reporting system or MPCRS, quarterly crops production survey, quarterly fly production survey, quarterly corn production survey, and rice and corn stock survey. For these regular surveys, we have enumerated a total of 1,800 for RCSS, 800 for MPCSRS, 840 for PPS, and 326 for CPS. The office also conducted the 2022 updating of the list of establishments or ULA on August 16, 2022 until August 31, where a total of 128 establishments were successfully enumerated. The survey on cost and return of ACR of live production was also conducted starting July 11 with a total of 14 households enumerated. This year, we conducted the Family Income and Expenditure Survey VC2 last January 2022 with a total of 768 households enumerated. For the monthly labor force survey, we enumerated a total of 384 households for the year 2022, while for quarterly labor force survey, we covered 768 sample households. The annual poverty indicator survey or APIS is a rider of the labor force survey on July round, which was conducted July 8 to 30, 2020. 22. We also conducted the National Demographic and Health Survey, NDHS, with 349 random sample households enumerated. The NDHS started on May 2 until June 22, 2022. For the survey of the retail price for generation of consumer price index or the CPI, we monitored 1,716 commodities and four outlets for selected sample municipalities for the available commodities. For the weekly survey of selected petroleum products, we monitored four outlets with the seven commodities in every outlet. The 2022 Commodities Outlet Survey or COS was conducted on April 1 until April 30 with 75 sample household enumerated. The 2021 Annual Survey of the Philippine Business and Industry, ESPBI, started on April 28, 2022 until June 2022 with a total of 24 sample establishments with the rider of 2021 Survey on Information and Communications Technology or SICT. And the 2021-2022 Integrated Survey on Labor and Employment was conducted on November 2022 with seven establishments interviewed. The Office conducted AA delineation of the development of the AARF for the 2022 CAP on March 21 to July 8, 2022 and successfully covered a total of 262 enumeration areas. For Commercial Livestock and Poultry Survey, the office has fully covered a total of 15 establishments. The CPA is conducted every last month of the quarter except for the last quarter which is conducted every November. For Backyard Livestock and Poultry Survey, the office has fully covered a total of 960 households. The CPA is conducted every first month of the quarter except for the fourth quarter which is conducted every December. For the quarterly aquaculture survey, the office enumerated a total of 644 aquafarms 
Ang 32 landing centers for the quarterly marine fisheries surveys, 60 households and quarterly inland fisheries surveys. Also conducted a farm price survey which successfully collected a total of 3,493 commodities as of November 2022. The FES is conducted every month. The office conducted the Women and Information and Communications Technology Development Index Survey in the province in coordination with the Department of Information and Communications Technology. 192 sample households were successfully located and interviewed. Another survey conducted was the 2022 Household Survey on Domestic Visitors in the Country in coordination with the Department of Tourism. 48 sample households were successfully located and interviewed. Under civil registration category, public engagement, participation, and generating demand, the office accomplished five barangay civil registration training. In terms of policies, legislation, and implementation of regulations, 13 ocular inspections completed. Infrastructure and resources, 10 reports on DBSS manpower submitted, 1. Civil Registration and Vital Statistics 101 Training, 1. Refresher course and Manual of Instructions of CRG Administrative Orders. In terms of operational procedures, practices, and innovations, the office accomplished 32 mobile registration, 10 reports on centralized solemnizing officers' information system with a total of 18 applicants, of which 16 were renewal and 2 are new. 2 reports on specimen signatures of authorized signatories per municipality were submitted. 2 reports on local civil registrar directory signature submitted. PSA Gimaras is already 100% in the implementation of BREX or the batch request system. Similarly, PSA Gimaras LGUs is already 100% in the implementation of field crease. Besides, there are 8 institutions who are already field crease users. On the other hand, in terms of production, dissemination, and use of vital statistics, the office accomplished 6 infographics on vital statistics prepared, disseminated, and uploaded to PSA Gimaras website. 20 special releases and 35 trivia on vital statistics, both prepared, disseminated, uploaded to PSA Gimaras website. The office also conducted and participated on various activities during the Civil Registration Month. For the information and dissemination category, the PSA Gimaras successfully completed the following publications as of October 2022. 2021 Annual Report Four quarterly newsletters, ten monthly quick stats, seven special releases on women and men, fifty-eight special releases, twenty-five infographics, and for the data dissemination activities, the PSA camera successfully conducted four data dissemination forums one radio interview we also prepared disseminated and monitored 180 press releases we also maintained the psa gimaras website quarterly we maintained the social media accounts of psa gimaras and we also maintained psa gimaras library every quarter and for other data dissemination activities we prepared and displayed streamers on psa activities including those provided by other agencies or institutions we also distributed iec materials about psa project or activity and the psa gimaras bulletin board was also maintained monthly. For the statistical planning and coordination category, we are proud to present the 2022 accomplishments of the Provincial Statistics Committee, Gimaras. Three quarterly meetings conducted with seven resolutions passed and approved. Two special meetings for the CAPDEV training for PSA members. One CAPDEV uh, training conducted for PSA members in partnership with the West Visayas State University. Eight interagency meetings participated, three TWG meetings participated, 20 NSM activities as scheduled, four unprogrammed NSM activities conducted, other agencies conducted in-house activities. 
we are proud to, to say that PSC Gimaras won first place in infomercial contest conducted by the regional office. The economy of the province of Gimaras rebounded to 7.7% in 2021 from a negative 5.1% decline in 2020, posting the fastest growth among the six provinces of the Western Visayas region. The figure is 1.7 percentage points higher than the 6% gross provincial domestic product or GPDP growth of Gimaras in 2019, a pre-pandemic year, resulting in an increase in the value of the economy from 14.5 billion pesos in 2019 to 14.8 billion pesos in 2021 based on the 2018 to 2021 provincial product accounts or PPA of Gimaras which were released on December 14, 2020. For 2022, 32 provinces and 7 highly urbanized cities or HUCs were selected as pilot provinces or HUCs for PBA compilation. Starting 2022, the province of Guimaras will annually release its PBA every December of the year to monitor the economic development at the local level and assess the progress in time. The PSA Gimaras conducted the ASTIC Tech or the Augmented System for Travel Information using GIS technology last June 13, 2022. The GIS based system aims to have a database of turn by turn navigation information, including fare matrix, road type, mode of travel, frequency of trips that can be used as a reference by the PSA in the conduct of field operations. The office successfully validated and recorded 1,290 routes in Guimaras. The 2022 CBMS rollout in the province of Guimaras is solely implemented in the municipality of San Lorenzo. We kicked off our CBMS activity in the municipality on May 30, which is the convening of the Municipal CBMS Coordinating Board. On June 1 to 2, we conducted the municipal level training on CBMS Barangay Profile Questionnaire. For the CBMS Household Profile Questionnaire, the provincial level training was held on July 11 to 18 and the municipal level training on July 21 to 20. To solicit support from the public, we conducted the CBMS Roadshow in San Lorenzo on August 4. The CBMS HPQ data collection jump started on August 16 and was completed on October 31, 2022 which covered all households in all 12 barangays in the municipality. For the year 2022, the PSA Gimaras successfully implemented the PLSIS Birth Registration Assistance Project on March 7, 2022, with a total target beneficiaries of 1,505 indigenous people and poorest of the poor. As of December 7, 2022, we have 1,358 total beneficiaries, 163 were indigenous people and 1,195 were poorest of the poor. And we are now 90.2% of the total target for 2022. PCC Gimaras successfully registered 39,070 Gimaras known as of December 6, 2022 for Step 2 registration. And we are now 46.8% of 83,298 target registrant for 2022. For step 3, the PC scheme has successfully delivered 63,200 and issued 2,622 e as of December 6, and with a total of 65,986 e distributed. Malikayang pagdating sa inyong destinasyon. Captain Lusari and the rest of the crew welcome you to Gimaras. Explore and enjoy the scenic beauty of Gimaras. <laughs>